Damon Bruce Show continues live from downtown San Francisco on KNBR and streaming live at KNBR.com. All right, you got Ted Ramey in for Damon Bruce today. Trying to get to your phone calls here. We're going to go over to Roger in San Jose. He wants to talk a little bit about the Harbaugh brothers. What's happening, Roger? All right. Yeah, it's all good. You know, I mean, you know, the 49ers, you know, they showed face. Um, but, you know, I expected at the end of the game, you know, the bros, uh, you know, sort of going to fisticuffs. Yeah, it was not the – I mean, I did not expect them to exactly hug and start crying, but, I mean, it was kind of handshake, one hand on one shoulder. I mean, they may have briefly bumped oh, shoulders or hug, but it was it was kind of – it was a little cold, I guess, that that's what you have to do. You have to separate yourself yeah. from your family at that point, but I did expect a little yeah. bit more than what I saw. Yeah, you know, I have brothers, and, you know, we were always, you know, in the same mode, you know, sort of, you know uh, – you know, who could prove, you know, this to that. and uh, But, yeah, that would have been cool if they would have gone to fisticuffs, you know. <laughs> yeah, that would have been uh, would have been something else. Uh, Got to uh, get to commercial here in a second, though, Roger, so thank you for calling in. Uh, actually, I uh, correct myself. We actually have to go to a sports update. The Demon Bruce Show continues live from downtown San Francisco on KNBR and streaming live at KNBR.com. You got me, Ted Ramey, in for Damon Bruce today. He uh, is making his way back from New Orleans. I believe he has just uh, arrived into the Bay Area. I'm not entirely sure of that, but I think that's I think that's what I read. Yes, it looks like he's into SFO. The, on the Damon cast here. I just uh, retweeted a great article from Deadspin that came out uh, not too long ago. Pretty much highlights how critical the mistakes of the 49ers and what it cost them in the game. So, yeah, it's it's a little 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 ugly today. But uh, let's get to uh, RT in Oakland. What's happening, RT? What you got? Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in you guys, man. I'm disappointed in you guys. Uh, in, uh, when you say you guys, do you mean uh, my lack of criticism for the 49ers or the 49ers themselves? Exactly, man. Exactly. And that's why I'm calling in because you, you're not keeping it real, man. And even the other caller, I guess you talked to him for a couple of seconds, and he didn't keep it real because he lightweight agreed with you, man. I mean, everybody knows when you're playing a game, I guess one of the announcers, uh, uh, Falk from the, uh, I guess the Rams, has said it's like a, like a boxer, you know. If you give a boxer, you know, a time to rest, rest and rest and recuperate after he didn't got beat the, the whole 10 rounds, 11 rounds, you know, or not, and then he gets rest, and then he comes back, and then, he, you know, he has a chance of winning. I mean, it was So you're, you're talking about the power outage, obviously, right? Man, I don't know why you guys won't just come out and say it, man. It's, I mean, Obviously, a 49er is the one that pulled the power out here, man. <laughs> and, then I, and I want to just say, pretty, you guys always talk about the integrity of the game and all this crap about how it's supposed to be respected, man. It, I mean, to me, I mean, cheaters never win, man. But do you? I, I, I see it like this, man. I see, I see, I see the Ravens smashing the Niners in that same game. If that power didn't go out, I don't think they would, ever would have got their head. Uh, see, I, I think you're off on that. I'm not, I'm not saying the Ravens didn't deserve to win. I just think the 49ers, they've shown that so many times that they come back. They're a second-half team. All season long, they've outscored their opponents by almost 100 points in the second half. They are – they're number one at making adjustments. Uh, it's it's just it's unbelievable what they do in the second half. They did it against the Falcons the week before, and you know they came back from an early deficit against the the Packers. The Packers stayed with them for somewhat uh, that uh, the conference game there, excuse me, the divisional round, and then the 49ers absolutely blew them off the field. So I think it was only a matter of time before the 49ers got into that game. Now I do you know the power outage probably helped a little bit. But, hey, it didn't help them enough. The Ravens still won at the end of the day, and you're right on that end, RT. I, I, but I appreciate I think, the call, man. I, I, think they punished, I think they punished them, man. They really punished them. They brutally beat them. And I think the score, if they would have let that game go on, they probably would have beat them something like 42 to maybe 10. or. <laughs> hey, hey, man, know, if, like ifs, ifs and buts. We'll never know. But we got to go to the next caller. Uh, Stacy calling in from uh, Anchorage. 
Well, actually, no. I'm going to be heading back to Anchorage oh, here pretty okay. soon. I came down just for the purpose of this game because, you know what, we were back in the Super Bowl. Like, that, like that is epic. It was off the charts. No other Niner fan gets that except, you know, when you're in the city and, like, in, and sure, you know, there's Niner fans in Anchorage and everything, but it's not like it's in the city. I mean, no. back home in San Francisco, that's where I wanted to watch a game. Did I mean, you, did you watch so, it with friends or did you watch it at a bar? No, Actually, we'll, we watched it down in Pier 39. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we, it was a real cool sports bar there. Anyway, like the Niner fans, everything, it was just, it was so great to, like, to cheer with all the Niner fans. I mean, I almost lost my voice and everything, but, <laughs> like, you guys, this this loss absolutely hurts. And I'm, you know what, I'm going to be the first to tell you guys, me and my family, we were, like, literally in tears. Like, we grew up watching the Niners. I mean, the Niners are who we are. It's like it's in our blood. And for that guy to call in just now, I mean, that guy killed me. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> no, he cracks you up. Ray Lewis on the other hand. But no. Uh, right. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, that's I mean, a thing. This, 49ers this fans aren't used hurts, to losing. Guys. It just, it hurts. I mean, like, it still hurts. Like, like even now, like, I just feel like it's too soon. <laughs> like, it's too soon. You know yeah, I, mean? I, like, uh, yeah, I had that, uh, I had that thought last night um, when I was sitting there thinking about the show and I was thinking this, you know, I'm,